Potential Donkey Kong kill screen coming up this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 161, a show in which the writers Vince Coin and Ian.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Town, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? I played Call of Duty, um, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, and Mario Maker. <laughs> uh, my money hey, was Bobby, I have a question for you. Yes. Did you beat any video games this week? No, I did not. But I bought three. I'll tell you in a minute. Now we're going to go ahead. Price is right. I did. I feel. I feel warned. Price is right. Fell one. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. I can take it. I'm a man. (laughs) Son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Riz. What'd you chief? Uh, like Mr. Chachikin said, uh, I also played. A little bit of Mario Maker. By a little bit, I mean I stopped playing it to do this podcast, and also uh, picked up uh, FIFA. FIFA. Six, minus FIFA. minus sixteen ladies, I heard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it takes sixteen women out of FIFA. Well, it thanks to NCAA yeah. and how yeah. stubborn EA is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I got I finally got my my uh, FOB updated uh, in Metal Gear Solid, which is going to be awesome when it's online. Fob watch. Oh man, the, the, fo- the, the fob in my in in my game is going to be gigantic, and none of you assholes can destroy it. Does FOB stand for Fallout Boy? No. You just got a big, just giant Fallout Boy CD. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said. That. <laughs> All right, Sorg, what'd you achieve this week? I beat a game, Bobby. I beat a game. Oh my gosh, I did. Bobby, Bobby, Sorg beat a game quicker than you. Sorg Sorg beat a game. Sorg needs to be my game beating mentor. Sorg beat a game. Yes. Sorg beat a game. What'd you beat? I beat Lara Croft Go. What? That counts. It counts. That's it's not as big that a game. Counts. I'm only about halfway through the regular Tomb Raider game. I haven't played that in a couple of weeks because I have been busy. Um, but uh, but yeah, yeah, no, it, it was a really cool experience. It had that same kind of feel of uh, Monument Valley where it was like so quick but worth it. Um, it was just a nice package. And of course, they'll probably have expansion packs here coming up uh, as they did with Hitman Go. And I actually returned and redownloaded uh, Hitman Go. Uh, and I'm actually working on the last uh, level of that uh, from or the last... Uh, expansion pack of that one right now so and and if you're just tuning in the hitman absolution franchise was is more like hitman stop because they delayed it to 2016 (laughs) hey hey it happened happened. all right and i achieved this week i bought three nes games at my local store that had nes games um i bought uh wwf still cage challenge which i had never played um I have that one. I've had I had that one since I was a kid. It's a good one. It was fun, yeah. Uh, what I played of it so far. Um, I pl- I uh, picked up Tetris, and I picked up Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors, which I might have two copies of now. I'm not sure, but it's one of my favorite games from ch- my childhood. And Josh is all about that s- game. I just remember <laughs> being sick one time playing it. Is that the it's, third one? Uh, I think it's the second, second one. one. Yeah, second. it's the one with Fabio in the cover. <laughs> I don't think I have that one. If I and, don't have that one and you have two, I'll I'll buy one off you. Okay. And I wanted to um find uh Castlevania two. I found it, it was twenty dollars. I'm not paying twenty dollars for it. I had it when I was a kid, but I think I sold it, which I wish I wouldn't have sold my old Nintendo games now, looking back. Uh so I'm I'm gonna try to get that one. I, I found it online, so I'll probably just buy it there. I will. Chachi. So, take us, you ready to take us around the net? Not until you beat a game. Okay. Yeah, we're going to sit here. We're we'll going to sit here, here for a until while. You beat a game. Does, yeah, does, we're we're, we're, we're going to sit here quietly until you beat a game. Does it count that I stopped playing Crossy Road? 
No, we will. We will be here when you're done beating a game. Just we'll, Gosh, we'll you, wait. You, you want to play some Mario, Mario Maker? Yeah, we'll wait. Oh, sweet. Hey, I, I just beat Quest for the Crown. Okay. Cool. If anybody knows what that game is, they're laughing right now. It's, it's now time for video game papers from around the internet. No, 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 no. Uh, it's an all Mario themed video game theme thing. Mario's been on your mind lately. What's that? Mario's been on your mind lately. Well, between Mario Maker and the fact that Mario turned 30. What? Yeah. Don't judge me. Happy I Mario. I know what I'm doing. I'm a pro at this. <laughs> Uh, in Gadget gathered 30 years of Mario and pop culture for a very nice timeline. It includes uh, the beginning, the uh, the current, and things bygone of Mario, um, such as ice cream bars, um, the Nintendo cereal, uh, and some weird stuff that I don't remember. Yeah, the Nintendo cereal? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I had, a Mario, I had a Mario and Zelda lunchbox. Yeah, they had, they had a Mario and Zelda cereal. Ooh. I it's forget what it was called. Princess. Was it in the 80s or like just 90s? Yeah, it was in like um, eight, late yeah. 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, you can go over. I have the link. I have linked over. Uh, Wasn't it? Oh, good. At insertcointobegin.com. Was the Mario cereal just like checks mixed with marshmallows in it or was that Ninja yeah. Turtles? No, I think it was the Mario one. Okay. I think maybe both. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, all cereals are probably alike. Oh, yeah. They're, if, they're, they're, if, they're, if they're just name brands, they're just alike. In the 90s, you know? I didn't give a crap about sugar. <laughs> I didn't give a crap about sugar or... And look how I turned out. <laughs> cholesterol. But, uh, yeah, so you can go over to insertcointdbn.com and check out this week's post, uh... Uh, thanks to Sword for pointing that out to me. He reads in Gadget. I do not. So. Gadget, Gadget. Uh, next up, uh, uh, Hollywood writer Max Landis. Who's a genius, I think. Um, started, uh, set out to write a Super Mario World movie script, and it ended up being 400-plus pages. Oh. Uh, which, if you know anything about Hollywood, you know that that is... Five movies combined sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's a book. <laughs> um, it's in uh, movie format, but you can go over to maxlandiswrites.com uh, and download the entire thing. I have it on my phone to start reading. I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Um, but there's also artwork uh, to go along with it with his thoughts on what the Mario characters would look like. Is Goombas in there? What's that? Waluigi in there? No. Damn. His Goombas look way better than the actual Super Mario Brothers movies Goombas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look like badass Goombas. Mm -hmm. Bobby, you do not bring that name into this house. I'm sorry. <laughs> John Leguizamo! Jeez. <laughs> Bob Haskins is dead. I can't say anything bad about him. Oh, you, you can. can. You can. You can. Well, I can, but it'd be in poor taste. No. <laughs> He was he was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit? How why would he do such a crap movie? It's beyond, it's beyond me. I don't know. And last but not least, uh, Mario Brothers Parkour. Uh, it's a YouTube video in which two parkour masters dress up as Mario and Luigi and do parkour. Cool. Um, they're they're highly skilled at it, so it's definitely worth watching. Don't, uh, try it. Not, Don't try it at home, kids. Yeah, do not try this at home. Uh, you will break everything. Uh, everything. But, uh, yeah, you can go over and check it out. Video is linked. Very, very good parkour. Sorry, I'm watching it now. And I'm still <laughs> Mesmerized. Um, yeah. And that is all I have for you this week in video game theme things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Hey, did you beat a game yet, Bobby? Uh, I did. Quest for the Crown. No, did you beat no. a different one? No. All right, That's we'll me. wait. We'll wait. I'm going to wait to start the stories until you guys but give no, up on a game. No, <laughs> no. I will throw it to you when you beat a video game. This until is going to be the longest well, what? podcast Well, ever. guess what? It's time for some things you guys should be made no, aware of. No, no, it's not. No, because I'm throwing it back to Riz. Back and to I'm Riz. Gonna, and you know what? You know what? Chachi. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Riz. 
And now for some things that you should have been made aware of this week. That's making me sad. <laughs> Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> Fine. A, a once thought lost Sonic the Hedgehog arcade game has been found, uh, and soon you'll be able to play it. Waku Waku Sonic Patrol Car, which was found in a basement of a Spanish mall, um, but the the version that actually is going to be playable um, and coming to MAME uh, was sent to them via collector Will Medved, uh, who bought the game in Japan for $350. Uh, but ended up paying five thousand dollars extra in shipping to ship the game to where he lived. Um, the arcade game, which was for children, uh, features a cartoonish police car cabinet that is big enough for a child and their supervising adult to fit in. Uh, in the game, you play as Sonic, uh, who who has made it through police academy and fulfilled his dream to become an officer of the law. I guess. Um, yeah, this is also considered the first Sonic game with voice acting. It is also probably the slowest Sonic the Hedgehog game around as well. It's okay. so slow. If, if you've seen video of this, it's so slow. My question, is okay. it better than Sonic Boom? It or, may be. or Sonic it may be. It may be. Or, yeah. yeah. Or um, Sonic I just, Adventure. I just love the name Waku Waku Sonic Police. Or Sonic Adventure, Adventure 2. Oh. Uh, or, but, um, Sonic, or Sonic CD, I, or 3D. I don't know. But um, would the question I have for you guys is: Would you pull? Would you pull over if a, a police officer, Sonic the Hedgehog, pulled you over at, um, in a comically oversized police car? Yes, because okay. you know why. Why? Even if I go, at even if I try to go at full speed, he's super fast. And he'll probably eat a chili dog while doing it. And I was gonna say you can bribe him with chili dogs if you. Because if I'm too slow. <laughs> if you're concerned about getting points on your license, you can give him rings and chili dogs. Well, okay, so Waku Waku means of the road. <laughs> so this game is literally called Sonic Patrol Car of, of the, the Road. road. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like kind of like a, the next Mad Max. Uh, movies. I don't like, <laughs> they were so like this game was so not thought thought through <laughs> that, that they literally named it what it is. That is why it's the Sonic, buried Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, <laughs> yeah, Sonic Sonic Patrol Car on the road. That is why. Road. That is why somebody found it in a Spanish mall's basement. No, I would not pull <laughs> over for Mister Needle Nose. All right, Mister yeah. Needle Nose can suck it. I am not pulling over for a fictional blue cartoon hedgehog. But but he's super fast. I don't yeah. care. He's going to catch you either way, Chaji. Yeah, but can he make me stop? Probably yeah. not. If he Listen, jumps on your car really fat, really no, hard. No, if Sonic games have taught me anything, it's I have to throw the, 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 the smallest obstacle possible in front of him, <laughs> and he has to stop to pick up all of his rings. All right? <laughs> I throw a straw wrapper out of the car <laughs> and he hits it. He's got to stop and pick up all of his rings. Well, well, let's be time. Either that or you throw out like an animal in one of uh, a baby animal in one of those little bubbles that right. they have. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Well, by nature, he, he has to stop and rescue that Sonic. animal. He has to. I picture Sonic in like high school carrying his books and stuff. And somebody just comes up and trips him, and he falls, and all his rings fall out of his pocket. And he's like, "No, my rings!" Oh no! And he has to like pick them all up, like scramble to, to get them all. Uh, yeah, get class. <laughs> he makes scales in the bathroom because that's where they both eat their lunch. <laughs> Knuckles is a new kid who moved because his dad is in the military. Shadow is just his, a his his bully is uh is Knuckles. <laughs> at first, and then they become best friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sonic, right. Sonic helps Knuckles with his math homework. Principal Robotnik. Because <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> fail. Principal Robotnik is making everyone stay after school for running in the hallways. We, we, we're, we're creating Saved by the Rings. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you beat me to it there, Bobby. Uh, All right. Uh, All right, moving on. In the one episode, <laughs> take the ball hopped up on caffeine. And <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> they got to talk, <laughs> talk him down from using caffeine. And then his tail goes off and he start, flies away. 
<laughs> guys, guys, going right, off, we're, going we're off, getting topic off topic here. here. No, 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 going more off topic here. <laughs> you guys need to search Sonic Dreams. Oh no! This is exactly like it. Nope. <laughs> I'm just wait, gonna point it out. All wait, right. what no, was Sonic? Yes. Wait, so the, did we just the, write a Sonic fan fiction? Well, the, yeah. So the thing that we came up with is exactly what it is. Well, they they have a scene where Sonic is in prom. Oh. And okay. and 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 then the next scene. Okay, moving is, on. Is the after party. <laughs> moving on. Uh, hey, you guys have played Mario Maker, right? Right. No. What's I that? I've never even heard of that have, game. Have, I you mean, guys, have you guys uploaded any levels yet? Yes. Yep. I, I've uploaded so many levels I've had to delete some. <laughs> wow. Well, according to Nintendo of Japan's Twitter account, over one million levels have been created and shared worldwide in the short time that Mario Maker has been released. Wait, Twelve Bobby, of them are mine. Bobby. Bobby. Yes. Bobby. Yes. You can read Japan you can read Japanese. I did not. Somebody did for me. Oh. Um, but Mario I Maker... I, I think you're lying. Fun fact about Mario Maker here. Mario Maker, which originally started out as a Mario Paint game, uh, has been so popular they're adding a stage to the game uh, Super Smash Brothers. What? Where the stage... Yeah, they're adding a, a Mario oh. Maker level to Super Smash Brothers. Where in the stage, the level will shift as if someone's creating it as you're playing the game. Oh, are they, are man. Yeah. Inspiration from actual Mario Maker levels. I think so. I, I think that they would be cool. Um, yeah. But uh, what is uh, since you guys have played the game, what has been your favorite created level you played so far? Oh, there, um, there's this one I actually followed from a, a YouTube video that I was watching. Uh, he made some levels for the two guys he works. He quote unquote works for as an editor. And uh, his name is Waku Waku Police Car. Actually, I'm gonna look it up for you guys. Uh, he made this one level where it's just called Fast, uh, and his name is. He's actually number four on the list worldwide. His name is called Rubber Ross, <laughs> uh, and it's just insane to see how many like times you have to go through it. And, and you don't know what the heck to do, <laughs> but it, it, it's so addicting. And you so, and you, again, this is like a dark souls type thing where you want to beat this game just to piss off the person that makes it because <laughs> <laughs> they're ma like, everybody's making the hard, trying to make the hardest level that they can pass, but mm. nobody else can. <laughs> they put in little tricks and secrets and all that stuff. Because they know you are going to probably do this more and more and more. That's why all the uh, l levels are really low, <laughs> like completion level. Yeah. Um, like right now, I'm a 13 percent, and mine's not even that hard. I don't, I don't think, but uh, but yeah, if you if you guys have Mario Maker, try anything from uh, Rubber Ross or I'm following Gerard the. Completionist, I believe that's Gerard right. De Bourdieu. Uh, Gerard the, the Completionist, Boogie, uh, Boogie, one, two, three, four, five, whatever his name is. Uh, is you know, Bo Francis. Francis, the, name? Yeah, that's, that's Francis. Francis yeah, okay. and, yeah, he has yeah. some levels up, but just any of the, like, they are just so difficult, but so addicting in the same way. Cool. Uh, Shotchers? Uh, I, and they actually responded to me on Twitter, so that, that they're watching people who mentioned them. Or mm -hmm. watching the Mario Maker hashtag, but uh, there's a Twitter user uh, at five row four uh, who made a level called "Dare Not to Move." Oh uh, yeah, where you don't Dare have to you? do anything. No, you don't have to do anything. You <laughs> start the level, and uh, you, you start the level, and it uh, using tools in the game, it bumps you along the level mm -hmm. uh, to completion. So you do not have to touch your controller to beat the level. Sometimes. And it's it's quite skillful. I mean, it's kind of incredible. And also our levels are awesome. Yeah. You know, we'll probably, you know what we should do, Chachi? What? When this when this goes up on insertcointobegin.com, we put our levels that we created 
on there. Like, like the, 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 the codes for that. So they yeah. can play. So that's a little fun thing we wanted you guys to do with us. And then you can either tweet at insertcoin TB or at the Riz or Riz Plays Games or Chachi Chachi Says or Chachi Plays or even Bobby. We'll, we'll throw this out to Bobby too. Uh, you yeah. know, he's, he probably won't beat, beat or get the game. Uh, I, I don't have, I know how to sweep. But yeah, you, you guys can play our levels that we made. I'll just say I did. And they're awesome already, guys. You, you didn't beat it, did you, Bobby? No. Um, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. You just said no. <laughs> Riz, I think there was some other sad, sadder Nintendo news, but uh, kind of good news, I guess. If you're, if you're, it depends. Well, it, it goes the way of uh, the Zelda. Uh, but Star Fox, mm-hmm. the, the game that was like Nintendo's pride and joy at this year's E3, uh, got delayed again. Um. So it, it's not coming out anytime soon. Uh, Starfax is back on the shelves, probably waiting for the NX to come out, just like every other game. Nintendo born video game left. Didn't they say 2016 though? Yeah. Sometime, sometime in 2016. So I think it'll be on Wii U still. It'll probably be on the Wii U and then probably generate regenerate it over towards the yeah. NX. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I was I was waiting for that. Like I, I was actually kind of interested in the first time in a while over something from Star Fox. I mean, ever since Star Fox 4, <laughs> then, then nothing good ever happened at all. Um, I was really hoping for that, uh, but we have to wait until next year. Mm-hmm. All Bobby? All right. Um, what did you guys do last Thursday? Played Mario Maker. All right. I bet you didn't break the world record in Donkey Kong. Well, unless you were Wes Copeland, that is, uh, who scored a whopping 1,170,500 points in Donkey Kong Online Open 2015 tournament organized by DonkeyKongForum.com. He took the world record from Robbie Lakin, who beat the previous world champ Hank Chen, who beat Steve Wiebe, who beat Billy Mitchell, who beat – well, you get the picture – then just six hours later, Robbie Lakin took back his record with a score of 1,172,100 at 245 a.m. Uh, Copeland, however, became the first person to score 1.1 millions on his first Mario, uh, which gave him some, which may give him some wiggle room if he attempts the record again, which he probably probably will. Uh, Twin Galaxies is still waiting to see if the new record is official, but it likely is. Uh, Lakerman, or Lakeman and Copeland's rivalry, rivalry has captivated fans of the game for a while now, and the two will meet head-to-head at Twin Galaxies Entertainment Festival on October 2nd through the 4th in Banning, California. This sounds like it would make a great sequel to the outstanding documentary King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters. Would you guys be interested if they made a sequel with just these two, or should they include all five Donkey Kong record holders? What do you guys think? First off, Bobby, I have to correct you. Uh, his, okay. He wasn't named Mario in Donkey Kong. Well, oh, Jumpman. Jumpman. Jump yes. Yeah. Wasn't it's named Mario, Mario in Donkey Kong. It's Mario. Come on, Chachi. So, no, get, get it right or pay the <laughs> price. Get, get, get oh, it right, Bobby. Thanks, Ugg. Uh, <laughs> not named Mario yet. Uh, but I would like it if they did all five. I would watch a sequel mm-hmm. if they had everyone. Because Steve, even Steve Weeby, Billy Mitchell, Jen. Yeah. Even um, your buddy Billy Mitchell? Maybe Billy Mitchell. because I would want to see how pissed off Billy Mitchell is. <laughs> oh, Billy Mitchell number five? <laughs> Billy Mitchell knows he's now the number five record, uh, number five in Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> he would lose his mind. He's crying yeah. he, well, tears. Well, he's he's already he's already lost his mind. I I saw him at uh, Retro Retro FX this past uh, year, and all he did was look completely uninterested and just stares at the Donkey Kong screen hoping for the kill screen. Guys, he's already wiping his tears of hot sauce onto his uh, United States of America tie. <laughs> oh, he wasn't wearing the tie. He wasn't wearing this United States tie. He was wearing this... That wasn't Donkey Billy Mitchell, my friend. Yeah. Was no, Billy he was wearing white on white. Speaking of hot sauce... Hot sauce! It's oh, a thing you yeah. can put on pizza. Uh, Sorg, can you tell us about some pizza? 
Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with pepperoni pizza perfectly for well over a year. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com. Friends of ours supporting this and all their shows. I put in some pizza in our bellies as we're doing our podcasting for the night. Uh, go check them out. It's great stuff. I just had a uh, one of our patron supporters over on Awesome Cast. Just had actually lunch with her last Friday at the venue. I got her to experience the gonzo and had some really good conversation there. So what? What did Bobby just break? <laughs> the face that Riz just made. <laughs> what are you talking? Well, you do. No, I don't know. Just continue. Okay, go check that out. In the meantime, let's go check out what else is going on around Sorotron Media last week. I can have Stephen Merchant as Wheatley have a conversation with Peter Capaldi as the Doctor. Yeah, with Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo, Wheatley, and Doctor Who can sit down and have a cup of tea, ale, uh, Scooby snacks, or whatever oil, whatever Wheatley drinks. In the DeLorean. In the DeLorean! <laughs> that could be parked outside of the TARDIS. And said, hey, you know, uh, CM Punk needs a shirt to wear on TV when he wore the I Broke Big Show's hand shirt. <laughs> so we printed that shirt and he wore it on TV. And that was kind of the beginning of the relationship. From that point uh, on, Colt was contacting my boss, you know, saying that he wanted to make some of his own shirts that he could go and sell at shows. And that kind of snowballed into what the business is now. In June of 2013, they officially launched Pro Wrestling Tees together. We've got yep. an HD camera, six axis gyro. So the drone, it can do flips and whatnot. The range is 300 feet, gets up to 45 miles an hour. You can download an app onto your phone so the camera can live stream. It also comes with a virtual reality headset. So say you're streaming on your phone, you just put your phone in a headset, then you can wear it. So while you're flying, you're seeing what the drone is seeing. What's great about it being modular is that um, every single part is gonna be online. You can swap parts in and out. And then as more accessories are available, you can always attach them onto the drone. Uh, right. So by the time we got to it, we were freaking hyped. And we're like, oh my God, he did it. And then- Don't, don't, don't use that word. What? Hyped. <laughs> I'll Major use it. Will bust through that wall. <laughs> Kool Aid man, he's gonna Kool Aid right through this wall behind me and, and kill my dead owl. Uh, anyway, three more times, he's gonna hold me behind you and kill my dead owl. <laughs> Guys, ready to talk some Star Wars Battlefront? Sure. Everybody, know, Don't everybody raise their hand at once. One of the um, most anticipated games of the year is Dice's, or would that be Dice's, uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Although they've said that the game will not feature a server browser, the game will in fact have dedicated servers to make the game deliver an unparalleled online service for gamers. Their words. Uh, they also announced that there will be a hero system in the game that will let you play as some of the more popular characters in the Star Wars universe. I'm wondering if this is kind of kind of be like a, a kill streak, like in Call of Duty. You guys think? That could be. Um, but anyways, at, to at Tokyo Game Show, senior producer Jamie Keane said our goal was to give an average player around two minutes as a hero or a villain. Uh, and he went on to say, but if you're good enough, you might stretch that to around five minutes in theory. Uh, you could play as Luke Skywalker for the whole match, uh, but it, this is extremely unlikely, he said. Uh, but uh, he said, also said the, gaunt, well, the gauntlet is thrown, so we'll see when, it, when the uh, beta is announced. And speaking of the beta, in other Star Wars Battlefront news, they also announced that the beta in the game will open. We open to anyone that has a system that can play the game. Yes, that means PS4, Xbox One, and PC gamers can join the beta when it goes live early in October. Uh, they also stated that the beta will be playable offline, so you can check out some of the single-player missions that will be available in the game, along with, the, the of course, the multiplayer, a couple maps, I think they said. Um, but my question, the final round question this week, is should alpha and beta versions of a game be open to everyone, or should it be relegated to just a select few gamers that can test the game out and give feedback? What do you um, guys think? I think, like, Chach, remember when we were playing Destiny or yeah. when it was on beta? Yeah. How how we how I kind of hooked you onto that game? Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry for that. No, that's um, fine. We're okay. But, but you were turned 
you didn't like the game at first, but you then played the game on the beta. Yeah, I played the crap out of the beta. Yeah. Shit. And and it turned it the, the beta turns people who are on the fence either on one side or the other. Yeah. Uh, really good things about the uh, the update and the um, new new expansion. For for Destiny. For Destiny, yes. Yeah, I need to play that, but um, I, I have a lot more things on my plate. Um, but uh, the betas, like the ones we have, the ones I don't know why I said we, because I have a PlayStation Four and I'm the only one who has it. Mm-hmm. Um, but the PlayStation Four and it allows people to play it who are on the fence, and it allows the developers to see what their problems are before the actual games come out. Mm -hmm. And then you have day one problems like Assassin's Creed with the faces, the funny faces and the glitches and in PC versions of, you know, Arkham Knight or something of that nature. But it's a good way for, it's a good thing for both com- for both sides of the party, mm-hmm. and, and not everybody's going to get the same glitch either. No, no, no. Well, here's the thing: uh, if we as a group cannot bitch about things that are wrong with a beta, mm-hmm. then I'm all for it. C- However, C- Street Fighter. If I have to listen to the entire internet bitch because a feature of a beta testing mm-hmm. game. Didn't work. I can't play then, this game. It's free. Yeah, then I'm gonna need you to uh, close up that beta. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm not. No, if you're gonna bitch about something that doesn't work in an unfinished game, you shouldn't have a right to play that unfinished game yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? You're just you're just ruining it for the rest of us. That's why I suggest only like a select few people. Right. As well, you know. Yeah, close, close that beta up. Don't let everyone play it. I mean, come up with a good system for letting people test it, uh, different people test it, but... I kind of like what Destiny did at the beginning. It was open to a select few. It was then generated throughout. It didn't like just start all at once. It had different times for you to come in. Yeah, and then it had different times for other people to join the server. It had other times for when you can sign in to like go to the beta test from your website from from PS4 or PS3 at the time and Xbox 360. Uh, and it had those times where you can go in there and do things. But if you have stuff that crashes immediately, crashes. You know how you shouldn't complain because that's because they let everybody in. And with a big game like Call of Duty that's going to come out soon, uh, which is going to definitely test that theory of, hey, this this game's going to have a lot of people on a server at one time, and it's not going to. It's probably not going to be effective immediately. But you just give it time, they'll work on it, and then complain about it when it really comes out. <sighs> oh, I got it. Right. I, I did the uh, beta for uh, Smite on Xbox One. I, I like how they handled that. They did beta keys. Uh, and I, I was invited, so it was cool. All mm-hmm. right. Is that all we have on this? Sure. Bob, right. did you beat a game yet? That's going to do it for this week. You can follow us no, on Twitter no, no, at InsertCoinTV. No. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. This podcast uh, new is new articles not going end. up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Sorg, do you have any plugs? Check out everything in Sorgatron Media. Sawtooth Willie came back this week, guys. What? Sawtooth what? Willie. Mm-hmm. This some bitch owes me money. No, you owe him money. Sir. Uh, I don't think that's how that works, no. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Nope. Chachi, any plugs? Nope. Chachi says on the Twitters. All right. Go Chris? to Chris, Bobby, Bobby, did you beat a game yet? 
No, race plugs. Why would you be game yet? I'm plugging that I beat a game. Yay! Uh, uh, Riz plays games on Twitter. Riz plays games on Twitch. Riz plays games on YouTube. Uh, the Riz on on Twitter. If you don't like video games, if you if you don't like video games, why are you watching this? Uh, I am also on uh, Panel Riot. I think last week talking about video games, video game themed co- or comic book themed video games. If one of those two, one of those two is right. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all I got. All right, and starting uh, very soon, we will be mentioning our extra uh, life. Uh, donations and page. Uh, we started that up, so that'll be coming up here next week. We'll tell you more about that. Um, you can follow me at Bobby F J Town, and that's gonna do it for us this week, guys. Game over. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. I'm ready. Bobby, do you want to start a podcast? <laughs> no. Bobby, do Bobby, do you want to start a podcast? Bobby, do you want to start a podcast? Bobby, we're starting a podcast. Bobby, bring the sexy to a podcast. Do you want me to do a podcast? And this is where Bobby goes, this is Boss Battle. We're I'm recording not. now. Do I'm you want to start a podcast? I'm not starting until everybody calms down. Welcome to Boss Battle, number no. 163. <laughs> no, 161. Where the writers insert... No, no. I was so close. Welcome to Boss Battle, number 161, where the insert... Where the, 169. Uh, uh, what are you doing this to me? 169. Right. Are, we ready? are we ready? Three... Two. Potential Welcome donkey. To the bottom, bro. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Can can we be professional? No. And start a podcast. Go, go ahead, Bobby. He's not gonna do anything. In three. <laughs> three. <laughs> Again, I say three. <laughs> Welcome to Boss Battle Number 161, where the writers of Red Star Coin get together to talk about video games. I am your host, Tracy. It says, joined this week by. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Bobby. All right, three, two. Welcome to Boss Battle. Shut up, Riz! Come on! Sorg wants to go to bed. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I'm going to mute right myself now. now. I can see him eating what looks yeah. like a penis. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this week I forgot that camera's on.
many <laughs> tiny penises. <laughs> Oh, okay. no, is that, no, is that camera on? Do you always see me when I don't give a shit about the story happening during this podcast? No. Yes. yes. Oh, now, yes. Okay. Are we ready? For reals this time. <laughs> Alright, three, two, 